Hello, welcome to my APG fitness video. Today is stretching for lower part of your body, especially your legs and your hips, your glutes. So I'm so happy to be here. You exercise in the gym, you do some classes, but if they don't offer any stretching, use this video every single time. You know why. If you don't know, go to the part first, upper body, I'll explain more. And now don't waste any time. Let's stretch. So first, Position on your knees, legs together. You to place your left foot to your side. Keep your foot in the line, your right knee. Okay, so you've got your hips square and correct alignment for your knee and your hip. Stretching is on the inside of your legs. When you feel ready, that's your position. If you're ready for more, you can push your hips towards your heel, but if you're lifting your heel, move your foot further. Always, when you've got the maximum stretch for yourself, maximum range of movement for today, that you need directly above your ankle. And you're twisting the upper body to the side. Why I'm talking too much right now? Because that's the key element. A slightly different position increasing decreasing the stretch so i'd like to be sure you know what you're doing you know which muscles you're stretching and you are feeling these muscles right now inhale slowly exhale inhale release exhale stretch and also make sure you're not forcing too much okay Good, comfortable stretch. So we're happy to hold right now. Use your arm, and if you're still, yeah, I'm ready for more. Use your arm and try to push your knee back. But now change your position. Keep standing up and hold the stretch. Squeeze your glutes on your right side. Okay. So when you relax, your hips going back. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. One more. All the stretch. Push all your breaths, relax your shoulders. Always when you're stretching your lower body, try to relax upper bones. And relax. Now the same. Right foot to your side and looking for the line first. Now, how your hips, how your knees. So now, in the line as much as you can. If you've got really tight muscles in your hip flexor, that's in position which is fine. As long as you feel the stretch, maybe just right, maybe both legs, that's right. As much as you practice, eventually you're going to feel improving the range of movement. And as you know from the first part of the stretching video, is the key for the injury of the body. And I think, I'm sure, everybody wants a strong body without any injury. It's not the reason you go to the gym or for any workout at home to injure yourself, right? You're doing all this stuff because you want to have your body stronger, more fit. Inhale, and exhale. Now hold. And again, all depends how strong is the surgeon right now. It's pretty good for you right now, that's fine. But if you're more flexible, use your arm and push your knee even a little bit more to increase the stretch. Shake your upper body again. Hips, chest facing forward, so you're not facing to your right side right now. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. And relax. Okay, still working for these muscles. So on your floor. Hands, shoulders apart, knees, your hips. You have to place your left foot 
to your side, you've got your leg straight. And center of your left arch is in the line with your right hip. Inhale, steady position when you exhale as much as you are to push your hips back and down. You feel the stretch. Again, upper body relax as much as you can. Inhale and exhale. It's not the competition. If you're going really deep, is you feeling the wide level of the stretch. So it's comfortable for you. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and I'm going to hold this position. So find the right position of your hips for yourself. Okay. Shoulders relaxed. Feel the breaths. Relax. Okay. Opposite. To start. Make sure you've got your knee directly underneath the hip. So you're not going this way. Okay, hands, leg in the same line. Inhale, start, exhale, stretch. Inhale, and exhale. Couple more. Just prepare your body for static stretch, always like a your muscles and you give us some time to be ready for the static stretch. Okay, now for the heel to be lower, deep, deeper, all the bends. Always listen to your body. Your shoulders relax. Strong breath, breath in, slowly out. And relax, okay? Now, on your core, to place your right foot forward. You need to feel the stretch behind your right leg and front of your left. As much as you push your hips down and forward towards your heel, that's the way to increase the stretch. So if it's too strong, push back a little bit. Again, always make sure it's a wide level. You're comfortable to hold the position. Now squeeze your glutes of your left side with your back leg to support your lower back. And now drop your left arm. Pull your shoulders back so you're adding the upper body stretch at the same time. Also, you hold the stretch for your legs. And now you need to have your knees couple inches. Slowly exhale, stretch. Knee high. And exhale. Knee high. On your upright, you're increasing the stretch in your calf area. As much as you lean forward on your back straight, it's all about your hamstring and your glutes. But 
box straight. So try to bring your belly, ribs, and your chest towards the right. If you've got problem to hold the balance, do this exercise next to the wall or anything you can hold. And eventually, as you practice, you get there. It's not about pushing your knee down. Movement is from your hip through your leg, exactly this angle, heel down to the floor. It's a common mistake, you're pushing here. Now, your hips moving forward and down in this angle of your leg. And slow, slow, that's a stretch. This one is always pretty intense because hamstring is a long muscle behind your leg, attach below your knee, all the way up to your pelvis. Okay, now change your leg, left leg to the front, squeezing glutes on your right side, up your right arm, lift your chest, and again, check how far you can go, hold your blind level of the stretching for yourself, not the show time, it's the time when you want to cool down after the session, after the workout, after the class, and it's important you're not forcing yourself right now. Be gentle. I know it's hard for guys, but seriously, it is important. You don't want any injury, you don't want to stop to go to the gym or go to a personal trainer for a few months because of the to your tendons, especially shoulders. Inhale, release. And exhale, stretch. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Now hold. Still, squeeze your butts. And back leg. Now, it's all about it. Back part of your left leg. Like the foot, the comfortable level, feel your calf. When you feel your function already, that's fine. More flexible to increase lean forward. And you can just remember movement, that's the direction of movement. Your hips through your leg, pushing your knee. Hands always on your muscles. Avoid placing your hand directly on your knee joints. Always above or below. Shoulders back. And we still have to hold. Inhale, release, and exhale. Switch. Muscles, your biceps. Let's lay down on your belly. Got your glutes muscles engaged. Right arm front of you, left leg up. So you can rest your forehead on your hand, relax your shoulders. Depends what's the flexibility. Maybe your arm is just by your side, but you're still trying to bring your foot closer without making the gap between your hips and the floor. That's why your glutes engage, because they're pushing everything down. If you're more flexible, then you your heel, or even your foot, or again, you can use the towel around and stretch. But to be honest, I prefer when you've got your upper body relaxed. So even this option works still. It takes time, you need to be patient, but eventually, as you practice, after a few sessions, depends how far is your leg, if it's close, after a few sessions you'll be able to drop and pull even more. If you're really flexible and you bring, you've got your foot close to your butt and you're not feeling any stretch, it's about pushing your hip to the floor and lift your knee off the ground. So that's the way to feel more stretching if you've got a really flexible hip flexor and your quad is a hip flex, so it's just the short muscles on the front of your quad bicep. 
strong breath, squeeze in, slowly out. And relax. Same opposite side. And yeah, probably you have to find out one side is more flexible. Oh yeah, I can go really close. The other one is pretty far away. So if it's really big imbalance, really deep, deep, uh, big difference between left and right side, hold the one side which is tighter for longer, right? To bring the balance in your body, especially in this area around your hips. The same way to add more knee off the floor, but your hip bone pressing down. Your breaths shoulders relaxed. And remember, this one maybe doesn't look very adventure. Very impressive, but still works. And relax. Arms by the side, relax your shoulders. Rock your hips side to side. Relax, relax. Just one more. Stretch your lower back first. And you move on to stretch your glutes, big muscles in your butt, and also your hip area. So start your blind foot over your left knee. Okay, now what is important? Stretching is on your right side. Right knee pushing forward, left towards to your the muscles really tight, probably you're going to find out yeah, but that's actually a high curve, how far I can go. And use your hand and push even more, only if you're not feeling any pain. If you're more flexible, you're lifting your left and pulling closer to you, but your right is still pushing away. Right, forward, left, towards to your. Without lifting the head on your shoulders, check if you can reach behind your left leg. If you're lifting your upper body, look how much strain you put on your neck. Better to hold this position and as your muscles improving in that bigger range of movement one day and bring them here. Shoulders, neck relaxed. Right out, left in. Good breaths, breaths in. Slowly. Really focus on your breaths. That's a good time right now to do some breathing exercise. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Breathe in, slowly out. And change your exercise. It's exactly the same way to start, which is fine. Okay. Next step to increase if you're ready, using just your hands. You don't feel that much stretching, right knee closer to you, but you're still pushing your left. Away. And you stay trying to lift. Look, how is your neck? Just keep your neck, shoulders on the floor. Hold them relaxed. And still using muscles of your leg. Pull your knee closer. If you can reach, fine. Rough and pull. So increasing the stretch. Always try to listen to your body. Because that's the lot of this travel to grab the height. It's not the right option for your body, it's not ready for this level of the stretch. Takes time, but really works. 
rise in, slowly out. And now, legs on the floor, arms overhead, stretch all your muscles, and slowly just pass. Okay, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this session all about the good proper stretching and if you got any questions or you still need to stretch another part of your body yeah, leave me in the comment below if you like my video give me some thumbs up and yeah I'm looking forward to see you guys again have a good day bye